and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca and I'm here working on my heaven and earth designs today. Uh, for those with eagle eyes you will see that it does say that I have already done 600 stitches today which is 600 diamonds. So yeah I had already done my section. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able um, to get to do this whip and chat today so I did my section this morning and yeah I am going to be able to do it so maybe I'll still squeeze in a section tomorrow and I'll have gained myself a little Brucey bonus point um, but I have just noticed looking up through the camera so I did notice that we have this person here uh, who seems to be sat on a swing but I've just noticed the wings. I don't know if anybody else noticed that, though I'm not sure if I'd done that section. I don't think I had even done that section when I was doing it last week. There's another person over here, but I didn't notice that this one had wings. Um, it's not apparent actually on the sheet, I don't think. Let me grab, this is the sheet that I printed out with details of what I'm working on just so people know. Uh, it's from Heaven and Earth Designs and it's the Super Size Little Dreamers Tree Max Colours by Amy Stewart. It had originally 239 colours. I am, I have done a few of them uh, and it's a 40 centimetre by 250 centimetre painting and I am actually about here. So what I think the difference is looking at this now with these with this angel it's actually half chopped off so the image I got mustn't have shown the full width because this is the other person and there is actually something to the side of them um, and then this is the other angel so I'm about here is where I am in the whole lot <laughs> so I'm more than halfway I just still have quite a way to go it says I am at 55.66% today and yeah so that's that's that fun so let's get this bottom section finished and then I need to prepare my next section for painting which at least I'm in my craft room to do that uh, depending on time I may try and do that with you guys on camera but I need number 165 first. I only need one of them. I am using another one of our potential new launch pens. Uh, a different one of the metal ones, a different color. Um, I did choose red. There is a very special lady who watches these videos who adores red. So I thought I would let her know that red is coming um but yeah when they actually will be launched possibly i can't remember what we decided whether they're launching this month or in a future month uh, but they will become a stock item we want to hold more pen options this is a weird section this looks like it's a lot of confetti but I'm actually not sure if it's just a few colours in a confetti style. It's I say it's a, it's a different section. I'm getting a lot of different colours than what I normally do. The section before last, so this middle section here, uh, when I did this, I actually did not touch my fourth case of diamonds. It only used diamonds from the first three cases which I've never had before. I've never experienced that before. So that was a little bit different. But we are gonna see how long this takes. I'm gonna see how many questions I can get through. Um, I have recent, cause I filmed this at the weekend. I have given you all updates that needed to be given. In fact, I probably spoke about updates a lot more than we was required so we're going to go straight into comments 
silly me forgot to change the battery in my camera after filming um, the videos that you will have seen for this week so my um, popping my exotic fruits paint gem mini sets away and also the unboxing or sharing with you the Lincraft goodies um, that I picked up while I was in Australia. So they sapped my battery a little bit too much. Right, so with the Heaven and Earth design, I try to keep my camera so that you can see my screen as well as the painting, yet I tend to zoom in a little bit more when I'm just working on the straight painting. I just tried to tip these into my pot to work from there but as you can see that didn't work that well. This is the one thing I don't like is when I end up with a diamond that's right in the middle when I haven't got hardly any other diamonds. It's like if I have to count more than three and I have to count to four, <laughs> my brain can't cope. Anyway, right, oh, see, we have got a few singles in here. I am going to see if I can just get it by diving into the pot. If it doesn't work like that, it's actually given me two that are connected together. Will you disconnect or not? No. I'm probably better just tipping it into here and then at least I can pick which one I want. And I can fight with ones that are stuck together on a later date. Uh, so yeah, comments. We have a comment from my Heaven and Earth design the other week, Lynn. She said, hi Rebecca. She said she was so happy to see this video. She said this may be a bit of a lengthy post she says, but she's been accumulating things. Okay, hang on, because I have to count four up and three across. And these are smack bang near the middle as well. So I have to, it's four across, but then it's three down. These are always the ones that just get me right at the beginning. Okay, I think I've got those right. Um, takes a little bit more brain power. What I also like to do is actually try and have my tablet sort of over it because then I find it helps me get the right section a little bit more if the tablet mirrors this but bigger. So we'll see if I can work this way and still access everything I need to. So, sorry, Lynn says, um, she says, first thing she says is a little fun fact. She says she watched one of my videos last week regarding um, your storage. She said you were moving your square drills into uh, the four mil bags. So the bigger bag, uh, the thicker, storage bags. So it was a video I did a year or two ago, might have been year before last, uh, where I upgraded the, the grip seal bags that I use in my storage. I was kindly gifted some. Uh, I've also, I've tipped out more of these diamonds and there's a reason for that. See the two different colours, the darker one and the lighter one? This is just a little side note. That darker one is not the right colour. It's like it's well off. So I have been trying to fish them out. I don't know what colour they're supposed to be. So I have been getting rid of them. But it's just a little bit too wrong to continue using them. They're just too different. I don't mind subtle differences, but these are just a little bit too different. I did actually use some of them in this person over here and it doesn't quite look right. It doesn't look wrong, um, like I can get away with it. So for that reason I haven't changed the diamonds over there but I don't, I'm not quite happy with how it looks. So every time I come to that colour 
I tip some out. See, I don't mind those two. You see there's actually three different colours in here. I don't mind those two as much, but this darker one is a no. So I've been tipping quite a few out and fishing out the ones I want and getting rid of the rest. Sorry, side note. So uh, Lynn says, she says you were moving your square drills over. She said and you got to number 221. She said and you had four little little drills in the bag. I only had four. Um, she said she laughed when she saw that and she said she wondered to herself how many I have now two years later. Oh, there you go. So it was a couple of years ago. Well, Lynn, I did go and have a look. Um, your question, your comment, I spotted and it did intrigue me as to how many I did have. So I went and had a look, Lynn. I still have four. I have four tiny little drills of 221 in square and I don't have any more. Uh, so yeah, the answer is four, still two years later. But they're worth keeping because if I do end up with a painting that doesn't have that number in, you never know, I may only need one or two of them. I don't think it's going to work for a heaven and earth design painting, but I think it would be fine, potentially be fine if I had a kit that happened to run out of them. So yeah, I just I just have a lonely little four still. Um, she says she laughed when she saw it. Uh, sorry, she said second thing is she has decided to do a heaven and earth design painting. Uh, she's doing it on a blank canvas. She says, uh, in your opinion, she says, given that it is her first one, would you recommend to start with six square sections or should she lower the number of sections to start? She says, thank you so much and glad you've had a great trip. Um, a, lot of, a lot of the decision in relation to how big a section to start can depend on your uh, your knowledge of working with a chart so that can make a big difference and while i know it's your first heaven and earth design if you've ever done cross stitch you've worked from a chart before so therefore the, the knowledge is higher than somebody that's never done cross stitch so i'd bear that in mind and maybe skip the first step or two that I'm going to suggest if you have done it before. Um, if you're unsure, there is nothing saying that you can't change your mind as you go along. I may well have started with just one or two sections when I first started doing it. Um, this heaven and earth. It, a six section does take me about an hour and I say roughly an hour it can vary depending on how many of the colours um, you know how many colours it actually uses in that section how scattered they are sometimes it can vary according to the order in which in which they are um, so when I find if I've got a, a big number of them that's confetti all over the place but everything else around it's done I can do them quicker than if it's not so there is a few varying factors but what I would do if you're starting pattern keeper will let you do more I say will let you do bigger sections than not using pattern keeper so my mum uses a paper chart she does one square at a time uh, that works the best for her because she's working off paper uh, and making sure she doesn't miss any and being able to keep up with marking them off and she's more than happy to do that she just enjoys plodding along doing one section at a time um, she might do more than one section in the day but she does it section by section uh, I would start by doing one section 
but I would potentially do one section here and then one section here. So when you first start, do your two. Once you've done those, if you think, do you know what, I'm happy with that, I could do a bit more, then do two across or two down, whichever way, but do two sections together and then try two again. And if you like, do you know what, yeah, then do four, then do six. Um, I would potentially build up because as as much, I think, you know, I'd be tempted to do that sometimes, even if it's just a fresh project and you've done one before, but maybe you've not done it for a while. It's like with most diamond paintings, even when I start a diamond painting, and this is a diamond painting that's not off a chart, I find I'm a little bit slower when I start than when I've been doing the painting for a while. So with the large paintings, I always get faster the more that I do because I get familiar with the pattern, familiar with the numbers, just, you know, it all makes a bit more sense to me. Um, so yeah, I'd start one or if you feel confident and you've, you've cross-stitched before and you've worked off charts before, maybe start with two. And if you find that really easy, maybe jump from two straight to four which gives you a full six and if you cope with the four then you can continue in sixes um, I work in sixes for a couple of reasons the one main reason that I work in sixes is I find that's a nice size on my tablet um, I don't have a huge tablet I don't have a tiny one it's actually in between I think it's an eight inch tablet and I think, I find personally that this size, sorry, I'm half looking for a diamond as well. This size on the screen works for me. I'm not struggling to see the symbols, but I also don't feel like they're too big. Uh, this zoom is a nice zoom for my use. Um, so that's the main reason I work on six. The other reason, uh, is because it takes about an hour. Ooh, we, got, we got a big colour coming on. Yeah, it takes about an hour, sometimes a bit more, sometimes a bit less. But I know that this size takes roughly that amount for me. So therefore, by doing the six section, by starting, I make sure that I have at least that amount of time to complete it before um, you know I need to do anything else and I find that really just works for me. You may find that actually an hour of diamond painting isn't something that you're likely to be able to do and if you know that according to your schedule that's not something that's easy for you to fit in then you may find that working in twos or fours is actually better for you because more often than not you're only going to have half an hour so you're working twos because um, bear in mind it does take longer if you're uh, doing less because you're still opening pots and putting them back and all the rest of it so you may find that actually two works well for you you know it'll take less than half an hour probably and if you on the rare occasions you do get an hour, you'll do two sections. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd start and build up because your confidence and your knowledge of the painting, of the symbols, of your, you know, just how to handle the diamonds even. It, it's different with each painting and I do find that that's what takes just a little bit to get used to is how each painting feels and works. So yeah, there you go. Hopefully that helps Lynn. Uh, Angel, she says, oh, she says the Vivian Fox, she says is so pretty. She says, any chance that, oh, let me find out where I'm starting. Uh, she says, any chance that around the middle uh, and end or start of next year, 
she says you could do another launch of trays that don't fit stoppers and chipped pens uh, she said it's absolutely amazing idea uh, and one that you did not too long ago so yeah that was in our January clearance uh, she said it seemed to go extremely well uh, yeah that will be something that we will do as and when so a lot will depend on what stock we have our supplier uh, for pens has actually got a lot better at uh, packaging them so we've not had any chipped pens for quite a while um, so I don't know how often we'd be able to do everything but yeah I'm happy for that to be something that goes up when we feel that we have a decent amount of stock for it and we have you know the time to take all the photos to make sure people know what they're getting um, it may also be something that we find we have you know seconds of things that arrive that we might just put up as a one-off and just throw in the clearance um, it just helps us clear space and it helps you get a bargain so we're all up for it that's for sure um, she said she loves Luna's bark you should hear it when the door goes um and she says well they'll be having another pup in the house she says hopefully tomorrow um she says she says two pups she says her girl is three but she still calls her a pup yeah we still call luna a puppy even though she is very much a teenager in relation to dog years now very much a teenager Uh, Yvette, she says, hi Rebecca, she says, thank you for your whip and waffle, she says, me and Jay are loving it, she said, especially Jay, uh, he's coming home every day from school asking if you've posted that day, <laughs> uh, she said, she, she thinks he's missed you, uh, she says, we too love the 12 day advent, he said, is, she said, especially the trashy, of which we now have four between us. Trashies of a new little collection, I think. Um, she says she also loves the metal pens. And she said it's the only pen that she's used since she bought it uh, last year. She says, and now both Jay and Lexi have one. Uh, she says, listen to what you have planned for the coming year. She says she's thinking that she needs to take out a bank loan um, for all your amazing goodies, she says, between me and Jay. And then she had a, a, a laughy, a laughy chat at the end. Yeah, we, sorry, but we just keep finding new goodies that, you know, we try and stock things that, one, are useful, but second, that, you know, that we use. Um, and I use on a regular basis sort of you know there are many accessories out there that we could potentially stock but I find if they're not widely used then um, they're not going to be as popular and they're just going to take up space and I've actually done those diamonds too far over so that one needs to go there and that one actually needs to come out and go over here see this this is what happens when i'm chatting while i'm diamond painting trying to keep track of it uh jay's been working on mother earth i've seen in the group diamond art club mother earth and i'm kind of jealous because even though i've done mother earth i've completed it I absolutely loved that painting. I don't know what it was because it wasn't one that I particularly picked up because it's one that I've been itching to do for any reason. It wasn't one that I saw when it was launched or I saw on the website and was like, that's a must for my basket. It was added to my basket um, so that I was ordering something else with 
alongside a painting that was a must for me. Um, but yeah, I've ended up absolutely adoring it. It was just, it was just fun to do. I think that was, that was what it was. It was the process was fun. So I'm kind of jealous because Jay now gets to do that process, which he deserves, but I kind of want to do it again too. <laughs> Uh, Anne says it's all looking good and she says happy birthday to Luna. Thank you. She had no idea that it was a birthday apart from the fact that she got a gorgeous cupcake that she wouldn't have got on a normal day. So to her it was a good food day. Uh, Roz says brilliant. She says putting the diamonds into the lid. She says can't believe such a simple tip. Yes, that was from one of our subscribers as well. There's been uh, one or two that have mentioned putting them in the lid. And it's not that I resisted it. It's just that I didn't think about it. Um, you know, when, you, when I diamond paint quite often, unless I'm doing a whip and chat, I'm switching off. Uh, and if I'm doing a whip and chat, I'm focused on putting diamonds in the right place while talking. So it didn't. It doesn't always enter my head to do uh, tips that have been mentioned straight away. It can sometimes just take me a while to go, do you know what? I, I can try something new today while, you know, switching off and diamond painting. So it took me a while to do it. But as soon as I did, I've not stopped. Not stopped. Uh, Alice. She says, hey, she says, so you must tell me the secret. She says, lol. She says, which mint chocolate did you use for the ripple cake? Um, so the ripple cake, I used uh, the peppermint crunch. Peppermint crunch? It's not called peppermint. Peppermint cream. Um, peppermint crisp. That's it. Peppermint crisp, which is an Australian chocolate bar. Um, and it's like crispy mint inside and just grate it over the top. So after you've done the ripple cake, you've done your cream, you've sandwiched it together, you've smothered your cream over the top. Even after the fridge, after it's been in the fridge um, for its six hours, then just grate a, a peppermint crisp over the top absolutely gorgeous um so yeah she, oh there we go she's just if i'd have read the rest of her comment she said was it peppermint crisp aero or just cadbury's block mint no it's peppermint crisp just one bar of peppermint crisp um so that's what i came home with i came home with two packs of ripple biscuits and two bars of peppermint crisp <laughs> oh i keep hitting the ones I've already done, which is really annoying because then it tries to clear them. Um, yeah, one bar of peppermint crisp per chocolate ripple cake. Um, she also said, yes, she said she got her shipping email. She's so excited. She says, thank you again for being my storage unit. See, this is how amazing our customers are for being my storage unit. Uh, she said, and taking on that extra cost of shipping. She said, that was very kind of you. Yeah, I mean, it. What? It, I don't think I'd be happy not knowing where your parcels are um, after a cyber attack and them saying there's delays, but not knowing how many. So the fact that I wouldn't be happy not knowing means I definitely think you guys shouldn't be happy not knowing. So you can stalk it as much as I I have to periodically go through orders trying to go, okay, which customer, which countries, and I keep trying to see which countries might be moving. Right, that's not a full diamond, so you're going. If you also notice, I do have like a diamond here and I have a couple over the other side that are just randomly stuck on the, on the edge of my painting. 
there's a reason for that. So every now and then, when I move my heaven and earth design out of the way, either when I'm getting it, uh, when I'm getting it ready to do today's section, or when I'm putting it away from doing the section, every now and then I have a diamond that just appears close to the painting, and I don't, I never know whether it has come off the painting. So it's been knocked off, popped off a section, or whether it's one that I've actually dropped onto the painting while I've been working on it. And therefore it is a, just a, a random diamond. Um, so I tend to stick them to the side of the painting so that if I notice a gap later on, I can, I can just go back and fill it in, take it off the side and fill it in. So random one for you. Um, Alice also says, she says, face, yes, FaceTime technology, she said, has made life a lot easier to stay in contact with family. She said a lot of her family live in a different state, uh, which is Tasmania, she says, which is a flight or a boat trip. Uh, she says, and it's always nice to see them over video. Uh, she says, leaving family is very bittersweet. She says, because you look forward to getting home, uh, but at the same time, you don't want to leave. That is so true. So true. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's different. It's hard, but it's different, but it's, you know, it's the way it is. So you deal, you deal the best you can. And you just be glad that we are in an age where there is technology. Technology to assist. Right. Oh, we have got some more. 39. Still not quite getting to zeros here. I don't know when I'm next to a zero. It feels like it's taking a while. And this I now know is part of the angel wings. I only need four. Four of them. I've got no idea where they are. No idea. But I do need my next case. Case number two. I have three empty bottles in this case. In my other case, I have two. Um, I've not shuffled them all up, though, because I do have little labels on the front of the case telling me what numbers I have. Um, so I'm waiting until between the four cases, I have 60 empty bottles, and then I'll move down to three cases. But the rate I'm going, it's not going to happen until I've nearly finished anyway. So what's going to be the point? Oh, six, seven, see look, just, just one here and there. And then they're probably not going to have the other one until I'm right near the bottom of the painting. I know one of one of the blues that I only have one of, I think it's a blue. Um, it doesn't actually disappear until right at the bottom of the painting. It's like, what's the point? Okay, let me get to the next comment. Oh, the cat lady. She says uh, she is using My Way 2. She says doing her painting with Pattern Keeper. She says um, her problem is the moment, she says, is that a tablet she has Pattern Keeper on is not holding a charge. Ooh. Um, she says it's been dormant for a long while, so she's hoping that it improves with a few recharges. Um, for now, she can, says that she can get a one 10 by 10 square done if it's plugged in. She says, but then she needs to turn it off as it locks up the screen. Oh. She says, so annoying um, as she's enjoying the process. Yeah, that is annoying. Um, I could understand, you know, it could be annoying if, say, you had to have it plugged into charge while using it. Um, 
but for it to use the charge faster than it can charge it up. Though I have had that with this one actually, uh, and this one was bought for Pattern Keeper, so it's not because it's old. I'm guessing it's just the amount of power that Pattern Keeper uses. I actually find that if this tablet has gone flat, I have to let it get to you know a half decent amount of charge before I can start to use it. Um, otherwise, it Pattern Keeper uses a little bit more power than it actually goes into the device. So I need that overlap to be able to, to do a section. Um, at the moment it does get, I can, I can do about two, three days probably with it off charge before I have to charge it up again, maybe four. It depends on if I've had to go and answer the door and stuff because I've told the screen on this to never sleep. Uh, it stops it dimming on me if I'm taking my time popping diamonds down without actually marking them off at the same time. Um, uh, when I'm whip and chatting, I tend to mark as I go along because I'm chatting. Whereas if I was doing this with no distractions then I would probably, for example, this colour, I would mark it all off once I was done. I wouldn't mark one section and then mark the other. And it's putting the diamonds back in the pots over this canvas that makes me have random diamonds like that, by the way. I'm fully aware. I'm causing it myself. Um, so yeah, I can get that that is really annoying. But I do think that Pattern Keeper takes quite a bit of of power from the device as it's running. I also find that I have to, I can't just lock my screen. Um, I don't actually, I don't know what it's like since the last update. I think it's still as bad, but I've got in the right habit now. Uh, but if I just lock my screen and then open it up again on Pattern Keeper, um, sometimes it has trouble selecting the symbols. It like highlights them but doesn't show you the symbol and all sorts of weird things like that. I have to actually close the app and then open it again. So I'm now in the habit of every time I've finished a section, I close the app down and then reopen it when I'm ready for my next section. It saves everything. It just stops the symbols being jittery. <coughs> um, Jackie, she says, Rebecca, she says she's tried an angled placer um, and she's used it for a long time. She says, however, she has now gone back to a straight one. Uh, she says she still uses an angled tip, but it's more so for the off the canvas stuff. She says she doesn't know if this is due to um, her using multi-placers, uh, whether that's what's made her go back to it. But she started using a two multi-placer, then went up in singles, so two, three, four. She says she's now up to a five. She says she doesn't know if she'll go any higher, but then she said never say never. <laughs> yes. I never say never, especially in business and especially on YouTube, because otherwise somebody will come back and say, you said no. It's like, mm, things change. So yeah, never say never. Just checking I didn't miss one then before I got to that. <coughs> oh, we've got a little bit of a scattering here. Only need a few. Trying to make sure I only tip out a few. Uh, Nancy, she says, hi, Rebecca. She says she's learning how to use the Pattern Keeper app from me. Well, there you go. You've got another little tip earlier, Nancy. If it's playing up with showing the symbols, close down the app 
and then just reopen it afresh when you go to use it. I find it works a lot better for me. Um, she says, and she thanks me to the moon and back. She says she thinks she'll be ready to start by May, she says, after all the events. Uh, and she'll add it to the June waffle with me. That'll be nice, doing it with the June waffle. Because you don't have to do a painting that finishes. 796, I'm sure that is the number that is not till right at the bottom of the painting. Just as a little side note. I'm not going to finish that one for quite a while. Not got any of these dark colours, oh, one of them. I had all of these in my last section over here with the tree. It's amazing how my sections change as I go along. So I have five sections. The first one and the last ones tend to be completely different colours to each other. And then I actually end up with a touch of the, the browns and the reds and stuff all in this middle one. And then a little bit of it on the other sides. But yeah, oh, managed to tip out one. Go me. That's all I needed for that one. Uh, Anika, she says, she, I make her feel like she has to get her own heaven and earth design out again. Uh, she says, you might even pass me. <laughs> well, why don't you get it out again? It is one of those though. I think we do start with gusto, um, with a heaven and earth design. And I get why it's exciting, it's new, it's different. But I think it's a different kind of large painting. So I can start on a large painting and be quite happy to continue until that large painting's finished. But there's something about heaven and earth design. It's not just large, it's huge. It's more than large and it's very brain taxing. It takes more concentration, uh, whereas with a large painting that has the symbols on it, you can switch off just a little bit more while you're doing it, which can make it just a little bit more relaxing, I suppose, than a heaven and earth design. Um, I don't, I don't know that I'd like to do a heaven and earth design in the evening. I tend to find I can go and keep going uh, after my morning brew um, but I can keep going up until about four or five o'clock and then depending on what the task is my brain just switches off there's just some things that I just cannot focus on um, and don't get me wrong you know I can sit and discuss advent and whatever else that Megan and I have been doing all this last you know any evening that's that's captivated me through this last week. But a lot of that is discussion, it's done sat down. But I don't think I could do a heaven and earth design in an evening. I just I just don't know. I mean, I could, but I don't think I'd switch off the same way. I don't think I'd enjoy it the same way. Whereas actually doing it in the morning uh, with my cup of coffee as I'm waking up I'm fine with that because my brain's active and my brain's ready for that sort of stuff um, I'm just half awake <laughs> uh, it's different types of awakeness in the morning compared to an evening I think but yeah I just couldn't do it in an evening another one of those but still no zeros give me a zero I'm itching for a zero. Can you tell? I am itching to finish a colour. When I did the section this morning, I was thinking, oh, go on, let me have a colour that goes zero so that I can tell everybody I've finally got one. I just, I feel like I am getting somewhere with this painting, but I also, because I've not had a zero, I don't feel like I'm getting as far as I could. I think it's because when I did it last August, I was getting zeros. I got a few. 
that turned to zero and so far I've had none. Anyway, stop moaning. I need to stop moaning. Uh, Susan King, she said she loved her 12 day advent. Uh, she said and she opened it the day she, day it arrived. Uh, she said her loving partner uh, said when we looked at the box, wasn't that meant for Christmas? Uh, and then said, so next year, do I need to hide it from you and make you wait until Christmas? It sounds like he might need to. Uh, it definitely sounds like that should be the plan. Um, oh, handcrafted by Helen. She says she looked up peppermint crisp uh, for a UK equivalent. And Google has said they're available at either St. Marcus UK or Amazon UK. I'll have to have a look. We still have one that we need to make. We've actually not made the second ripple cake yet um, we are out for a meal this evening at a friend's house however it is a slimming world recipe that she wanted to cook for us so i thought taking ripple cake is probably not the best option when on slimming world it's not that kind of dessert so I'm sure me and Hobby will enjoy it in the future instead. Right, are you going to give me any of these that are nearly gone? No? No? Not happening? Okay then. Every now and then I have to go back over a number because I think I've missed one. I think something's flashed in the corner of my eye and then I realise that sometimes it's just one of these across the top that I've actually already done. It highlights them ever so slightly. Oh, I know I've got some of those. Um, so yeah, thanks for that, Helen. I will have a good nosy when I've gone through um, the one that I've got in. Uh, Nancy, she says she enjoys watching me whatever canvas I choose to work on. <laughs> Uh, she said she is still not pulled into the heaven and earth design cross stitch. She said she hopes there is one or two others like her. Yes, there are one or two others like you. Uh, my mum used to be one of them. Uh, she's not anymore. But there definitely are still some people that aren't interested in it. And that's completely fine because, it, as I was discussing before, it is a completely different type of process. Um, and it is not for everybody and it's not enjoyable to everybody um, but for those who do like a little bit of something different then a heaven and earth design is a nice way to do it but that's what's good there's options for everybody all I would suggest to anybody who is getting who is deciding to do a heaven and earth designs if you can get a poured glue canvas, then get one because I think they are so much nicer to work on than the double sided tape. And there is a lot more suppliers and people providing blank canvases now, so it's a lot easier to be able to obtain. Um, Amy. She says, maybe, she says you can put this one on the, on the stairs. She says on the bit of the stairs as you go down. She says, as that usually has nothing on it. Yeah, I know the bit you mean. However, we don't have um, the same height on our bit of the stairs. So the actual tallest part um, on our stairs actually has a window on it um, it's it's at the top as you sort of go down the first step that then goes to full roof height after that we actually have dips down um, and like ceilings that are normal height that go down in like a zigzag we actually have those on our stairs which I don't know who put it in because our house is an ex-council house 
and like there's loads of them that are pretty much all built pretty much the same uh, there's semi-detached there's end terraces and there's terraces but they're all very similar layout just mirror images of each other uh, and I know quite a few people who live in other houses on the estate uh, when the kids were all growing up and we'd meet up and have coffees and things and I remember one friend she was like why does your hallway seem so different to mine she was like why is it so different she says considering that hers is just a mirror image of mine um, and we realized that I had these ceilings these six and she's like it makes it so much less echoey uh, so it, she actually got the ceilings built into hers. She bought her council house or quite a few of them have been bought now. In fact, most of the estate is bought. Um, but yeah, she actually got it put in. Luckily, her hubby was a tradie, so he popped it in. Um, she actually got hers a, a storage section put in right at the top where she stores a Christmas tree. But her hallway stopped sounding anywhere near as echoey as soon as she put that in but I don't know what made our house have it in when ours was always council before we moved in and I can't see the council having decided to put to put that in unless there was a valid reason why they did or unless ours was different because ours is a semi and not an end terrace because that was the only other difference one was a semi and one was an end terrace. So, unless that's what made them different, who knows? Maybe somebody just got bored one day. Um, but it means I don't have those big tall ceilings, but it actually means that my hallway doesn't echo as much as other people's. So, I'll take that as a win. And it saved us having the work done. Uh, Som says you'll be able to find peppermint crisp, she, he said, she said, sorry, in the UK. Just find out where your closest South African store is, she says, or if any of them have online shops. Uh, Som says they've made ripple cake using Baker's Romany Creams. Uh, she said you uh, you can find them in Tesco in the UK, uh, if they remember correctly, or a South African shop. See, this, this fountain of knowledge. Baker's Romany Creams. I recognise the brand Baker's. I'll have to um, get Megan to have a peruse, or maybe I will, depending on... I tend to go Tesco for non-food stuff. I occasionally go for, pick up food bits while I'm there, but we primarily have gusto meals, so we only tend to have to go shopping for snacks. Um, but yeah, oh, I'm liking this. See, I may not have to wait until a next trip to Australia to be able to get biscuits to make the same dessert. Um, that could be dangerous we could end up having them once a week or so hubby makes uh, a mean cheesecake in fact he's not made one of those for a while um, and all the ingredients can be picked up from Aldi of which there is one five minutes from our house five minutes walking from our house um, and yeah we did go through a phase of having cheesecakes far too often because it was so easy to pick up It's so weird not putting 3371 on this painting because I've been putting that on pretty much every one. Right, I need my last case. Case number four. These have gone down quite a bit but not gone down enough. Uh, Crafty JJ Newton said, thank you for sharing. Uh, they love the heaven and earth design. Um, she said she would love to do one, uh, but she can't for the life of her figure out what to get and where. 
She said, oh, I've just admitted my age. She said, oh, thank you for asking. Uh, thank you for sharing. Sorry, not asking. Multitasking again, failing. Um, I mean, there are Facebook groups, there are videos that I have done on helping for you to get stuff. Um, if you really, really want to do one, if you're a member of our Facebook group, there are many people in many countries that will be more than happy to point you in the right direction for your country uh, of where to pick stuff up. But it is a bit of a feat. It is a dedication is what it is uh, to do a heaven and earth designs. But they are great fun. They are good fun and I'm really excited to have this three year long project done hopefully this year and potentially get a good way on my second heaven and earth design because I'm actually itching to do the canvas so that's another thing you can get heaven and earth design paintings on a canvas uh, so just like you would have a standard diamond painting you just don't get the diamonds um, and that's directly from heaven and earth designs and I have one of those to do and um, I got the design because it's bright and it's colourful um, but I'm actually looking forward to doing the design on the black and white canvas with them printed on but not having to have my tablet charged, not having to have that already, and just being able to work on that one bit by bit as well. It got to be fun. Oh, still got 15 of those. I kind of hoped while it was the end of the angel wings, it would be the end of that colour, but nope. I don't think it's going to be the same for this one either. It must be used somewhere else for a little something else this symbol has only really appeared around here for these angels wings but all the other side is either already done or is in this section so if they've not gone no 26 and they must be getting used somewhere else. Looking at the symbols on here, I don't think I'm going to completely run out of any down here either, but we'll see. Um, Debbie, uh, she said she loves the Heaven and Earth Design project. Uh, she said, but she's not quite ready to tackle such a big project, even the mini ones. Uh, she said she does a lot of artisy patterns as cross stitch she said so she decided to do one of their minis instead um, as their minis are around 50 by 40 centimeters in a diamond painting oh that's an idea um, she says she chose mini frog in the evening park it's 88 colors she says she's only done one section so far, but she's loving it. So yeah, it doesn't have to be a heaven and earth design that you do. Uh, I think a lot of people go to heaven and earth design as the company when this first started becoming a thing. And part of the reason for that is that heaven and earth design patterns are all in full cross stitch they're all full stitches which means they can easily convert to a diamond painting uh, and they have so many designs so many designs available that it's just something that's you know easier to do than messing about trying to find a pattern that doesn't have back stitch or doesn't have half stitches when you know the whole website will give you ones that will work um then yeah it, it's going to become popular for that reason very quickly but yeah i like the fact that you've done a different one 
um, and been able to do one that's smaller and that you're loving it. Uh, Roxy, she says, oh, she says how glad she was to see this video. She says at half past five uh, in a morning with a teething baby. Oh, well, I'm glad I was able to keep you company. Um, I, I, I try to forget the 5 a.m.s that I used to have. It was primarily, I think, with Lewis, used to like waking up at 5. Considering he is not an early riser anymore. Uh, but yeah, it used to be, used to always want to wake up at about 5. And it was never quite, by the time he'd been fed and stuff, it was never quite worth trying to get that extra half an hour of sleep because you'd feel worse for it when you woke up for the second time. Ah, <laughs> oh, those were the days. Um, but yeah, I'm so glad that I could keep you company, Roxy, and, and I didn't have to wake up for it. So I'm sure, I'm sure the little one will be feeling a lot better soon. And things will get a lot easier. It does pass. I'm testament to the fact that it does. It does pass. Right, we've not got many symbols now. I don't think I've got any blues. I feel a little bit more confident skipping a little bit more when it gets to this last case and not actually tapping on every diamond because I can, you know, if I've missed one. I'm not having to get another box to find it. So I tend to do a little bit more skippy and jumpy. And I do have a lot of this symbol, but what I'm actually thinking of doing is doing the ones that I don't have many of, so that I only have that symbol left. And then I can chat my way through quite a few more comments without having to pay attention to the pattern as much. I can just fill in the gaps. So I sometimes do this when I have a lot and it's on the last page. And this battery is flashing at me now. Let's see how many I can get done before I change it over. So on this one, and that one and then I think I've just got this this one and then it should all be that letter E to do then I can get caught up okay back to the E that is all that I've got I haven't got 116 worth though, so I'm not going to have a zero on this number either, unfortunately. Uh, Susan, she says, can you imagine doing this as a cross stitch? Oh, Susan, I have thought about that so many times. Not in the fact that I would want to, to do this as a cross stitch. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> um, just so many times it passes through my head going I would not want to do this as a cross stitch um I don't even know if I could cope doing it without it being the max colors so with it still being the 88 or something colors I think the other one is um it's still so much um you know, casting off of the colours and casting back on. I might be all right with the stars at the top, but after that, I think I would quite possibly lose my marbles trying to do it as a cross stitch. Uh, I can imagine it would look amazing. Um, but yeah, I, I wouldn't even entertain the thought I don't think of doing this as a cross stitch, that's for sure. 
Uh, Ren, she says she's binged the Whip and Waffles, she says, to catch up, uh, as it's been a crazy week, to say the least. Uh, she said she ended up getting done about 3,000 drills over three videos. Woohoo! Go girl! Sounds like if you've had a crazy week, that is exactly the therapy you needed. Sitting down and diamond painting. I feel like I need to prioritise um, getting my evenings back to diamond paint and stop getting sidetracked by exciting things. Uh, she said she just got her order delivered. She said she honestly wasn't expecting it to arrive so quick as she's in the US. She says the quality is phenomenal. I think yours must have been shipped with our um, replacement courier that we're using at the moment. Um, because, yeah, they have some orders. It seems to depend on where in the US, uh, but some orders are getting there really, really quick. Um, she says the quality is phenomenal. She says she wants to go on my site and order literally everything. <laughs> Um, she says she thought she honestly thought she says that glue dots were overrated she says so she stuck with paddy wax uh, she says lo, lo and behold she says she orders glue dots um, from our shop uh, and it is still sticking she says like she just applied it she says it's mind-blowing she says she's so excited to see what February's launch has um, in relation to tray colours. She says even still she's going to be ordering them. Well, I am sorry, tray colours are delayed. In The limited ones are delayed for February. We will have some colours that are a bit different, but they'll be in bundles for now. They're going to be bundle colours, I think. Uh, but they will be coming back shortly after. We've got other stuff, though, other stuff to keep interested. Um, she says she's sad to have missed out on the advent calendar, she says, but she took as uh, she took a break from diamond painting for a while. Um, she says, but she's going to be sitting here waiting for the exact moment you launch it, she said, so she can grab a pre-order. Uh, she said, sorry for the super long comment. She says, just so amazed and thankful at how truthful you are about the things you promote oh thank you uh she says also the cover sheets you cut are incredible she says she's always just sectioned whatever cover comes on the diamond painting she says but these have made my life so much easier she said after barely using them she realized that she didn't need to purchase two packs <laughs> She said, thank you so much. Well, you say you didn't need to purchase two packs. You don't need to. However, they will come in useful. That's all I can say. When it comes to cutting down for Advent, for weird paintings, or when you find that you have that many paintings kitted up, that they all need cover paper, that's when you'll find you'll be like, oh, actually, two, sh two packs has been handy. That or when kids pinch them. That's the other thing. Right, I have finished this section, but I did want to show while there are a few people that are learning Pattern Keeper off me, uh, when you come to like anything that's got a big confetti section and you've not necessarily been marking it off as you go, you can press and hold and then just ask it to select all unfinished highlighted sections in the square. You can choose to do it on the page, however, I've got no idea what part of this is a page and what part isn't, so I just do it by square and it will select them all and then I can hit tick done. So I just do that, in this case, I do it on all four because it crosses over four, but there we go. And I've managed to mark them all off as done. So let me zoom over. Oh, what I will show you as well, I'm going to prep my canvas. So this is my next section. I like to move over to my next section. And because I'm nosy, 
I like to see what colour I am potentially starting with. So I'm actually starting with the pink one on this one. And then what I do is I go back to highlight just so I can lift up my uh, taskbar that tells me what's in use and what's not. Uh, I can lift that up to tap on that and actually close down the app. And that will then allow me to reopen the app next time and it won't do anything funky with the symbols. Right, I have got a couple more comments so we'll see if we can get them in while I'm prepping this canvas. I've actually only got about two more on this video. I feel like I'm really caught up. Okay, let's move all this out the way. So this is my diamond. These are my little little ones to the side when I find them. And just in case one's popped off and I've not realised. But I need to prep this canvas for the next part because this is all one sheet. And also my canvas doesn't come with the grids marked out. So like while it looks as though there is a slightly darker line, there's actually not. There's like two of them close to each other and I'd never know which one it is. So first thing I use um, an Edding 8404 Aerospace Marker and it is the really thin one. It is 0.75 mil in depth. I just keep feeling these diamonds and you can lay your hand on or rub your hands over and you can feel any that are popping up. Um, I do run over this with my roller as well, but my roller's in the conservatory. So I will do that before it gets put aside, ready for tomorrow's. Uh, so what I do is I just run this down but then I'll count two, four, six, eight, ten and I actually normally do this one first and then I'll go two, four, six, eight, ten. So there's my ten marks. I actually haven't written these on so that's 520, that's 540, I'm sticking to the canvas, that's 560, so I am getting there, that's 580, I think I was, I think it was this 500 mark, is it three, yeah it is, it was this 500 mark when I started for my, where's my ruler, I've got a ruler that's actually long enough to go across this, that is where I was when I started my 2023 so in 2023 I've done all this that makes me feel better even if I've not run out of a colour yet so what I do now is I use and my light this is why my lines are never straight because I'm not particularly going major slow I can't put a ruler there to draw the lines out with a ruler because it's sticky and it's like just too sticky for it to be worth it because by the time I've got it lined up and I only need it as a rough guide, it's only for me. So I do my lines all the way across and then I tend to do them down, if I can get that to stay out of the way. Uh, Jessica also says, she says, it's just so pretty. This is on my heaven and earth designs. She says she wants to start a heaven and earth designs, but she doesn't know if she has enough diamonds for it yet. I don't know whether you ever have enough diamonds for it. Um, people are really good at sending diamonds to help though. Um, and I know some are purchased. So some I purchased um, near the beginning when I was running out of a few colours. I didn't purchase them all, but I did purchase a few just to get me going. 
by the way I do also try and overlap this a little bit as well so by the time all my diamonds are placed I know where my next line is so you can see this was the bit that I overlapped last time um, Jessica says she's going to power through some of the paintings in her stash first um, and she's planning on ordering some diamonds for it too however she's on a no buy until at least March right let me turn this painting round this is actually what I normally do about halfway through I actually turn it around so that I can get to the other side and do it this way Ooh. it's not picked up the marker stuff there um Jessica says she needs to be good and get stuff done before she adds more to her plate. Well, that's more sensible than I was. Because I not only decided to start one, I got excited and decided to start a second. And then I also bought a canvas. Um, a blank canvas, though I have been good and I'm not starting that one. Right, next thing I need to do, there is, because this is double-sided tape, occasionally... I do end up with a bubble in the glue. I've actually not got one in this. Uh, if I find that I have any when I get to a section, because some of this was ridged up, I thought it was a bubble, but it's actually not on the canvas. It's just on this part. Um, if I do, I score through it and flatten it out before I even get to the next section. Um, but last thing I need to do is go by my line, which is overhanging a little bit here. Not as much there, but I have got my 580. And I put my ruler just a little bit lower than the line. And then I score it. And it's not a matter of pressing really hard, because if you press really hard, you could end up putting through the whole canvas. I've got used to what pressure I need to do now. And there we go. That is ready for my next section. So this will get folded back to here for tomorrow. And I'll do that section. But I do like the fact that if I line that up, that is what I've done since I gave myself the Heaven and Earth Design Challenge. And that is 15 days worth. So this is my chart. And I can colour in today's. That's what I've got to do. But that's what I've done. And that actually transpires to that much. So that is a little bit more reassuring. Maybe it's because these were so thin that I'm thinking I've not done a lot. But when I actually look at it on here, I've done a full angel. <laughs> I've done a full angel and I've got something coming up here. But I don't know what it is. It doesn't show me everything, but because the image seems to be a little bit chopped to what it actually is. But it looks like I am starting to get a little bit of the blossom in with the tree, which is probably why that pink's come in. And it does look as though over here I have a fairy. And that's probably the tip of her wing here. Tip of the fairy's wing. So maybe I'll get rid of some more colours in here when this fairy is done. Who knows? There's not too much pink to go, but there is still a scattering all the way down. But this is where I'm up to now. About here. So I've still got a chunk to do, but I've actually done more in 15 days, which is what, two weeks? That's not bad for two weeks, really considering I actually did two sections today. So it has been exactly two weeks, 14 days. I have been doing it each day so far. I have been keeping on top of it each day. So long may it continue and I'm sure I will get further down than I think. 
um, when we next when we next get to the point that I need to cut another section maybe I'll see how much I've done again but uh, last one Alice this just because it is the last comment may as well tidy things up um, Alice she says oh she's had some medical things going on uh, that she's actually needed to switch off from um, she said she has a black, uh, black and white heaven and earth design that helped her heaps uh, but she does work off paper so that's very similar to my mum uh, because she doesn't have an android she works on four by four sections uh, because hers only has 16 colours I kind of can't wait to finish my black and white one because that has hardly any colours at all um, she says she will take a hat off to me managing to do a whip and waffle while working on your heaven and earth well i'm sure there was a few more mistakes i made on this one today i know i definitely had to correct a couple more things sorry i'm just trying to get a diamond to go in so it doesn't fall off when i roll this up um she says she, she watches and she actually has no idea how I do it. She says a woman of many talents. Yeah, I think it's just because I can talk no matter what I'm doing. Uh, she says she did go the black and white one on purpose. Uh, this is how I roll it up, by the way. It's, it's my scroll. Um, she didn't want to be overwhelmed by her first heaven and earth design and she says she definitely thinks she'll be doing another one but next time she's going to go through ever moment she says their canvases are numbered um, and she thinks it would be a lovely treat for herself i'll have to have a look at what they've got just spotted a diamond coming off i need to go and roll this um she says she's nowhere finished, uh, nowhere near finished hers, uh, but she's got a treat lined up for when she does. Uh, she also says, how far along is your mum on her one and how she doing with diamonds? Um, I think my mum is done with diamonds now. Uh, they did order some. Um, some kind people sent her some and I took some over with me uh, of a couple that the numbers... She thought she had enough, but she actually didn't. Uh, I think it was the really big amounts that she ordered some. So I think my mum is done. Um, if for any reason she's not, it will probably be quite a bit further on before we know. I'm not sure what percentage, because she's working from a chart, I'm not quite sure where she is. I think she's around here. I think that's where she is, around there um but she's thoroughly enjoying doing one square once twice three times a day depending on how the day goes um and she loves the fact that it's going to take ages but she does also want to do another one when she finishes she just needs to find an image and where it's going to go so i think she's enjoying the process that much that she definitely wants to do another one but she doesn't like doing any diamond paintings if they don't have a home to go to so we shall see maybe she'll take three years like me who knows um but yeah at least i'm now getting a wriggle on and i have a hope of finishing this this year so yeah that's all the comments i've got up to the point of filming this because I film it in advance so by the time I do this next week I should be about here um because I'm actually filming this on the Saturday so whether it's the Saturday or the Sunday I should be down here somewhere which is actually all the way down here <gasps> we shall see who knows I'll probably have a bad week and only get three sections done but we will go with how much we get done and i'm quite happy to see that that's a little angel it's hard to like i can see it now when i look um you know without looking at the camera but it's amazing how looking at my little screen on the camera it's basically that whole step back it's that big step back that i'd normally have to get somebody to hold it up for me to be able to do 
I can do it through the camera um, and that angel is actually really clear and really cute. So anyway, I'm going to stop waffling. Uh, I have done that for far too much for the Whip and Waffles this week but thank you all so much for joining me again uh, on my next section of my heaven and earth design. You're keeping me going and this will be accomplished in 2023. I'm, I'm, I'm really I'm really going for it but yeah thanks for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.